In 1930, that is the one and only Marlena Dietrich serenaded a crowd with the iconic Falling in Love Again inside the famous Spiegel tent. Nearly a century later, that tent is set up at David Paco Square on King Street, all a part of Luminato. There it is, joining us live to take us inside with its owner, the Spiegel Maestro, David Bates. That's a cool name. Good morning, you, David. I, Spiegel Maestro. Are you really the Spiegel Good. Maestro? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the Spiegel Maestro. I self proclaim Spiegel Maestro. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'm a piano player. <laughs> You've had it for 20 years. Yeah, How did you exactly. acquire this incredible tent with all the history in it? Well, I was a jazz musician. I used to play jazz piano and I used to um, uh, play, play music around the world and ended up playing music in the famous Spiegel tent in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Jazz and Blues Festival. And it was uh, such a, I fell in love with the tent like everybody does. And I started to use it as a theatrical producer. And so I started producing in 1996 in Edinburgh. And since then it's taken over my life and it's taken me around the world. So how long does it take to actually set this up from start to finish? It's huge. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing tent. I'll, sh I'll show you inside the tent. Yeah, please. Awesome. They, um, it, was built, it, yeah, it was built in 1920. And it's, uh, this is the facade that was actually not a 1920s facade, but it was created by a Melbourne scenic artist called Mark Oak, who is, has created it in a, in a sort of fairground Baroque tradition. And uh, it's very much of the style as, as the Spiegel tent would have been in the 1920s, but it's a contemporary design and it's, uh, it houses all kinds of theatrical and music. So it sort of evokes the spirit of the famous Spiegel tent and the things that go on inside it. So come so, with me, yeah, come into the famous Spiegel tent and, explain, come, and come and see the interior. So as you're going in, explain to okay, me so here, here what the, what the, what's the feeling like yeah. as you go in? Ooh. Well, it's, it's as, as like old theatres, it carries its ghosts with it. And when we unpack the containers, you can see the ghosts start to emerge. As you can see, these beautiful beveled mirrors and this an, a, antique teak dan dance floor. It's 97 oh, wow. years old, and it's been travelling the world, going to festivals and fairs around the world, presenting music and cabaret and all kinds of performances, burlesque performances. There's, it's been a it's a fantastic cabaret space and a marvellous music venue. It's uh, Josephine's created a fantastic program and it's, uh, it'll be beautiful to see concerts in here over the next 10 days. Uh, Luminato is, uh, is using it themselves to produce and, and program. Um, and I'd just like to tell you, if you ever want to buy a Spiegel tent, yeah. uh, you just have to call uh, Heron Tiles. Can you see that in the glass? Let's Heron see. Tiles, the X? telephone number is 153 in, uh, in Heron Tiles in Belgium in uh, 1920. And you can see that it was wow. created by... Yeah, 153. If you need a Spiegel tent, that's all you have to call and you can get one made. Oscar Molesdom was the, uh, the artist and uh, the, um, the glass artist and Louis Gore was the tent maker. And so it was created in 1920 in a little village in Belgium called Herentals. So exciting. And, uh, so there this will is the be... bar. It always travels with the bar. There will be lunch concerts, evening Pardon? concerts. There's food trucks, gourmet food trucks. The Drake yeah, Hotel yeah, is setting there's up. There's music right through. That's right. There's music through the uh, through the lunchtime period, and then in the evenings, fantastic, uh, fantastic program of music, um, right through the next ten day period, M mainly music and theatrical performances. And here, these are the little booths, bonquettes that people oh, uh, nice. can can see other people. Uh, through the beveled mirrors around the tent, uh, when they're not, they can't see you, but you can see them, and you can see the stage from all all kinds of angles. <laughs> this is just <laughs> the, the coolest uh, thing to own ever. Speaker. And holds a holds. Yeah, pardon? It's Sorry. the coolest thing to own ever. <laughs> it's, a, it's cool, isn't it? Yes, it's my, uh, my own theatre. So it's a travelling, travelling theatre that goes up and down, travels in about two shipping containers, 3,000 pieces all fit together, and there are no nails or screws in the entire building. Yeah, and I... it, uh, it fits together with hinges and pins, so there's no, there's no nails or screws. It all fits together like a great big jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, well, Dina can't even put together the a pop here have been set, so... setting it up. <laughs> How uh, many people does it fit yeah. in? Sorry, how many yeah. people? Uh, it's, it's, it holds well. It holds up to about 350 people, but uh, it, depending on the staging yeah. and, the, and the sort of infrastructure set up, the, the technical setup here is amazing. So the uh, the, uh, the the 
the capacity is around about 250, something like that. And uh, it, it's uh, it's a very comfortable space when we get the tables and chairs in. You see the queues yeah. out the front, and you can't believe that that, that many people can fit in here because it's yeah. a very intimate music and cabaret theatre space. Well, Spiegel Maestro. It's, uh, it's an abs absolutely great place. Great it, place to perform it is. and great place to see artists. Thank you for taking us on a tour, Spiegel yeah. Maestro. Appreciate yeah. it. David Bates, uh, you want more information, of course, Thank you about very much. the schedule for the 10 and everything else for Luminato? Go to luminatofestival.com.